Lasers inside 3D printers. Let's talk about it. The other day I 3D printed some shoes that actually feel like real shoes and I love them. The designer did a really good job. There's some dog hair on here because I was walking around the inside of my house. Um, but there's no insoles, which got me to thinking. I have a bunch of this two millimeter thick cork. So browsing online, I actually found these insoles with a similar shoe. I load them into Bamboo Suite. The cool thing about this bamboo and the laser module is you can actually take an image so that you can align the things that you want to laser properly onto the actual cork. There's a lot of safety stuff with this actual device, which I really enjoy. Um, one of which you actually physically have to touch the button to allow the printer to know that you're there to watch. Whether you stay there or not is really up to you, but I do like that you can't just wirelessly start the laser without physically touching the button. Now there's a lot of debate online about dust and buildup and stuff, which is actually a valid argument on why you probably shouldn't have a laser in a printer. But realistically, I'm gonna show you something and you be the judge. This is my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not done any maintenance on this machine at all. Now you should definitely do maintenance on your printer, but in my case, I have clean carbon rods and lubricate your lead screws, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I just click the do not tell me how to live my life button, and my X1 Carbon constantly looks like this. It's really bad. But I don't disagree. Yes, there's gonna be some buildup on the actual printer itself over time, I'm at about 23 hours worth of lasering, and so far I haven't seen any real buildup at all. I should mention that I am using the extra filter system, and this is so far what the pre-filter looks like. Look, it's probably gonna get pretty bad because I'm not gonna be doing any maintenance, and I plan on putting hundreds and hundreds of hours of lasering on this printer, but the main point I'm trying to make is there's a lot of people talking and theorizing all these issues, and they don't even have this printer, but they're complaining about dust and their printers look like my X1 Carbon. Since we're on the topic of hardware maintenance, I'd probably suggest maybe cleaning the greasy Doritos fingerprints off your keyboard. You're pretty good. But now we need to see how the insoles turned out. And honestly, this pattern looks so freaking cool and I love it. These shoes are actually very comfy already. Um, but the cork, I already tried it on the other shoe. It definitely helps. Um, and I really like the way it looks once it's installed. These turned out so good. Um, I actually might just use these outdoors and not really care about people laughing at me because they are a little bit out there. Um, I'm gonna be printing some more shoes. So if you wanna see that, definitely make sure you're following. And if you're interested in laser content, maybe I'll start posting that.